So from the pictures you've seen and, and what you've you've read and heard on YouTube and all over the internet, you may think that the new Xbox Series X and S controller hasn't really changed much from the Xbox One version. But actually, you could be wrong. That There are actually quite a few subtle little changes and a subtle redesign that Microsoft have worked very hard on that is not immediately obvious. So the controllers apparently do weigh about the same, but the new one is ever so slightly smaller. So this should now make it more easy to use for people with slightly smaller hands and actually opens up the ability to play on the Xbox to a much wider range of people. Big, most noticeable thing that you'll see on the new controller is the share button. Now this new button lets you easily capture a quick screenshot and also record short clips that you can then upload that you can then upload to social media or share on YouTube or whatever you want. And this makes this much easier than the you have to go through three or four clicks in the old way of doing it and this makes it much faster now in this this age of sharing your, your stuff on youtube and on social media this will make it much quicker they've also improved the the actual texture of the controller so it's kind of now got a bit of a matte texture which feels a bit different and it should be less slippy in your hands if you do if you are prone to sort of sweaty palms while you're playing and the controller's slipping around in your hands then this should stop that they've also changed the triggers and made them slightly smaller and slightly stumpier they've added tiny little bumps on them to to give you a bit more grip and, and feel a bit better within on your fingers the, the thumbsticks haven't really changed now they were kind of perfect as they were so microsoft haven't really found a reason to change those they're in a similar position they, they're designed very very similar so you probably won't really notice much difference with those but they, that will tie into the overall size of the controller that these thumbsticks may be slightly easier to use now than on the older controller because the whole controller is slightly smaller another big obvious one is the d-pad now for people who've got the elite series 2 controller this will this will look a little bit familiar because it's inspired by the d-pad on the elite series 2 now it, it's kind of like a concave design like a curved design which includes the up down left and right buttons but it's also got raised edges for the diagonals so it kind of makes it easier for your thumb to roll around on the on the d-pad a bit easier and sort of feel around where your thumb is on the controller without having to look down at it or whatever while you're concentrating on the screen so it's great now the big thing is the big question everyone has been asking is obviously microsoft have announced that all previous accessories for the xbox one controllers headsets everything else will be fully compatible with the series x and the series s so anything you've already invested in like any custom controllers colored controllers will work from day one on the series x so you've not got to throw away all your old controllers and buy new ones you can use the old ones but the big thing is they have also made this new controller compatible with the xbox one so maybe if you were thinking about getting an Xbox Series X or Series S but you can't quite afford to get one yet then maybe you still might be interested in just getting the controller to begin with and you'll be able to benefit from the new redesigned controller on your old Xbox One. So this is some great design from Microsoft where they've tried not to force everybody to ditch all their old stuff to move over to the new one and the same like with me I've got two Xboxes in my house so if I get a Series X the controller that comes with it I'll be able to take into the other room and use on the Xbox One as well to play in there and benefit from the new features.